Good. Welcome back to my final morning report analysis video on Friday, 8th of February, with me, Richard Perry, Mark Alice, that Hunter Marcus. Going to look at gold, which has again, as I sort of reiterated yesterday, it's corrected back into this um, pivot band, the long term pivot band, 1300 to 1310. And seemingly at the moment is forming a basis of support but the market is still corrective near term it's important to think to still consider that because the fact is that RSI sort of fallen over MACD lines have crossed lower stochastics are still tracking lower but within this uptrend which comes in around 1293 today um, but within that there is a, a little trend lower that you can start to draw in um, in the last sort of few days as the market is drifting lower. Momentum indicators on the hourly as well, failing at 60 on the RSI, going back towards 30. That And the MACD line sort of failing at neutral. All suggests little near-term selling into strength. So there is still downside momentum in this move, even though we've had that positive counter yesterday. But support, obviously on a long-term basis at 1300, but on a near-term basis, the breakout support is 1298. Uh, yesterday's low to 13.02 and there's all this sort of clutch of support uh, around this uptrend so it's still a little bit corrective within this uptrend but st I would uh, be still looking out for the n renewed buy signals in order to sort of for the bulls to regain the control again and you've got the resistance that sort of comes in around that 13.16 mark uh, in the last few days of that uh, that pivot and um, that would be a, really a trigger, I think, if you broke above that, that would be your trigger to go, uh, I think, long again on gold. But um, for now, we're st still in this wait and see mode. And I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you again next week.